Baldy in Michigan City is still closed two years after a sinkhole buried a little boy. Researchers have been looking for more holes and knew at six. One group says they found some. WSBT 22's Patrick Roth is here now. And Patrick, these holes are really dangerous. Yeah, Rick, you might remember some of these scenes behind me here from a couple years ago when a six-year-old boy from Chicago fell into one of those holes. It took hours to rescue him and he nearly died. And crews found 11 more of these holes and one group of researchers thinks they're caused by what they call ghost forests. It's one of the most popular destinations in all of Indiana, the dunes. But there's a danger lurking just beneath the surface. What happens is uh, sand dunes can override forests. And the ghost forest then is a forest that's now completely covered by sand. Sand dunes move a couple of feet every year. And if there happens to be a forest in their way, the sand will simply blow over those trees and wind up covering them completely. But those trees and their branches are still standing beneath the surface of all that sand, creating pockets. I, I don't think you could see it, no. The, the tree's completely buried. There's going to be ripple marks and stuff on the, on the sand. There's, you would see no sign of it at all. You would just be walking along and whoosh, down into the tree you would go. And that's exactly what happened back in 2013 when six-year-old Nathan Waisner fell into one of those holes and was trapped. I think very dangerous if you fall several feet down and have sand pour in on top of you. If there's not somebody nearby to dig you out, if nobody knows this has happened, it's probably fatal. Fortunately, Waisner was rescued after spending several hours beneath the sand. Crews closed off the area, and now one group has found several of these types of holes. And Burns says this does show the power of nature. Uh, the most important thing, really, is whenever you're hiking or playing in an area of nature, especially something like sand dunes, don't do it alone. Now, in a statement to WSBT 22, the Park Service says that they have not seen the research results yet, and therefore they can't comment. They did tell us that there are two park-sponsored research studies going on right now. One should be published in the next few weeks, and another one sponsored by the Indiana Geological Survey will come out this winter. And, Rick, once both are out, park management will have a better idea of what steps they'll be taking moving forward. They expect that to happen sometime next spring. Patrick, thank you.